a lot of mergers and acquisitions happening in the tech space. And when it comes to integration, that falls upon the CIO of all these big companies coming together, especially multi-billion dollar companies. Avanade is a great example of integration because you are a joint venture between Microsoft and Accenture. So what could CIOs learn from you in terms of integrating multiple companies at the IT level? It's interesting as we try to balance between, um, I would say, leading the way with Microsoft technology, but also all the compliance and controls uh, that Accenture would like. You know, one of the examples is how we do information sharing between the three companies. So, uh, in particular, go to market. So, as we as we start to share a pipeline, um, you know, particularly around how can we connect, you know, the Microsoft sales channel, the Avanade sales channel, and the Accenture sales channel, because we are an independent organization. So, it's that fine line of. Um, you know, enabling knowledge sharing while maintaining an independent uh, organization. So how do you do it? So we actually leverage a, a collaboration platform that enables that sharing, information sharing between the three companies. Uh, you know, obviously starting working with our business leaders to basically make sure that, you know, the Microsoft salespeople, the Accenture salespeople, the Avanade salespeople all actually have uh, information into that same sales pipeline so they can go to uh, market together on particular right. opportunities. So I can imagine that, that Microsoft probably pushes you a lot to say, hey, you know what, we want you to consider us first. Make sure that no matter what buying decision you make, it has to be Microsoft first. Has there been a time where you have said, you know what, Microsoft, great, but you know what, that doesn't really fit all of what we need to do, especially since we have three companies we need to consider and there is a, a different option. That would that would fit our needs at the moment. Yeah, it's a, it's a very very important decision for us. We're actually uh, wrapping up our IT strategy, and one of the important pieces in there is how do we uh, make our decisions regarding sourcing our technology. So, for us, our Microsoft is always the first option of do they have a, a product or a platform or service there, uh, and then we actually look at at, at Accenture. For example, our core uh, finance and HR functions, we have actually outsourced that to Accenture and they happen to run it on SAP, even though with AIX there is an offering there. Uh, there's other options where, uh, for example, our HR performance management system, you know, Microsoft doesn't have a, a, an offering. We weren't happy with the Accenture offering, so we actually went out and got a third party uh, SaaS solution that we leverage. And how does that go over? Uh, you know, they're interesting conversations. I think at the end of the day, we need to make the right decisions for Avanade. Uh, and so we, we, we lead with that. What is the key to, to making sure those conversations are productive? Well, I think for the first time, as a part of this IT strategy, we are going to have that decision process documented. So I think where historically it sort of happened uh, a little less uh, structured or formal manner, now we, we're hoping to have a formal mechanism to actually make those decisions. 